Hey guys, it's in Hydra. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be finishing up this house and showing you guys the entire interior and the full tour. So this house may be a little bit of money. Um, yeah, it's fine though. And yeah, so the tour will actually be at the end of the video this time. So I'll go ahead and leave y'all a chapter or timestamp or something like that. And yeah, if you haven't seen part one, it's in the I card, the description, all the things. And let's get started. Okay, so as always, I'm going to start off in the living room and I'm going to start off by placing my fireplace underneath the stairs and just resizing a carpet so it fits the room. I'm going to have a nice large sofa um, and one chair and I just want this to be a space where people can hang out, like sit together, you know. I want it to be a very like family oriented space so lots of seating. Um, yeah, very comfortable. And for the color scheme on the inside of this house, I'm gonna do blue for the walls and all my decorations are gonna be either orange, um, like the color of the pumpkins, or neutrals, or the brown. So, yeah. And right here you can see me recoloring all the floors because I didn't want them to blend into the furniture too much and this is a really helpful tip if you find your furniture blending into your floors make sure to choose at least two wood tones for your house instead of one because then you can always have some contrast with there and I'm just using oyster um, which looks very nice with the brown and complements it very nicely so yeah It's interesting how long this is taking because I don't remember this room taking this long, which is kind of funny. Um, but as you can see, I'm just adding a shelf for some extra storage over here and adding some cute decorations on it for a little pop of color. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just some plants and books and things. Okay, so now let's get started in the kitchen. That definitely took way longer than I thought it would. But what I'm doing here is I'm going to have a um, separate cabinets on each side for the fridge and the oven. And then I'm going to have the stove on the kitchen island. I'm also gonna recolor the floor in just a sec, so don't 
worry about that. And yeah, also ignore these two little cabinets. I'm gonna delete them really soon, right there. Um, and opt for shelves instead, which are a very um, open like option. And it makes your space feel a little bit bigger because it's not as closed off. And you can also have some fun like decorating your shelves. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So one of my biggest building tips is when you are making a floor that's going to be next to your other floors, make sure it contrasts really, really well. So my um, floors in like the living room and stuff are sort of a medium tone, um, but I wanted the floors in the kitchen to be a really, really light tone because that way it contrasts with the other floors, but it also is going to contrast with the dark colors that I'm going to choose for the cabinetry in the kitchen. Alright, so the first thing with the 
dining room is to make it sort of mirror the living room. So we're gonna have the accent wall be on the same wall and it's going to end up being the same stone. Um, and something else that I'm going to end up doing is having it be a little bit raised. It's gonna add some dimension and also make the rooms feel a little bit more separate while keeping with that open floor plan. So big tip for you guys if you're building your own houses and things like that like always try to make your rooms if you have an open floor plan like feel separate enough but also like cohesive so yeah I also love how in Bloxburg you have so many different options with table decor. So a lot of the times I opt to like make place settings, um, but here instead I decided to do a centerpiece with, um, with flowers and I love adding multiple different flowers to one vase because it makes it look really good. And I'm also just gonna add a plant into the corner to just kind of take up some space and yeah. Okay, so over here, I'm gonna start by adding some wall decorations. Obviously, I can't have a window here because there's that little area on the other side of the house. Um, so yeah, um, so I'm just gonna add a mirror and some shelves. And I'm also playing around with this window to see like what height I like, um, but yeah. Okay, so now this is probably one of my favorite parts of the entire build and I made custom railings for all my stairs and as you can see here I'm using the structural objects and the basic shapes and I just love how they turned out because first of all like the um, stairway is on not a actual line. I don't really know how to call it but um, put a real fence on it and make it line up perfectly. So instead I'm making my own and I'm gonna make it glass so it's gonna really fit with the whole modern vibe of the house. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited with how it looks and just let me know what you guys think.
Okay, now I'm just gonna do some small decorations in the entryway. So that's gonna be like a hat stand, a plant type of deal, um, and a little table with a painting. Okay, so now I'm gonna start in the guest slash powder bathroom. And because it's the powder bathroom, I'm not including too much detail or too much storage. Um, so it's gonna be a shower instead of a bathtub. And yeah, that's pretty much just about it. I just tried to keep it pretty simple. Okay, moving on to the guest bedroom. I wanted to make this like very luxurious, um, but also pretty simple. So I'm just going to end up with the bed and then an entertainment like center sort of. I don't really know what it's called, but yeah. So it'll be a good place for your guests to stay, but it's still like simple and not too much of a hassle, I guess. Also, a quick tip if you want to make things look a lot more detailed is to center things like off center. And I know that might sound weird, but um, if you like take things off center and maybe add some more angles, 
it will look so much better so you're gonna see what i do with the tv in just a second and you can add like a cute decoration and yeah All right, so about half this video was spent simply on the first floor of this house, so I promise we're gonna move a little bit quicker from now on. And I'm gonna start in the kids slash teen bedroom, I guess. Um, and it's just gonna have a loft bed, which means it has a desk on the bottom half and a little clothes rack and a dresser. And I love how loft beds just allow you to maximize your space so much because you can have such like a small bedroom but still have like a place to put your clothes and a place to work, which is like really important. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Yeah, so not quite sure how I feel about putting a kid in here if it's gonna have a balcony, but I guess we'll just say it's a teen room now because of that. But I'm just gonna put a little chair out there because I wanted to put one in the room, but I didn't really feel like there was enough space. And yeah, and now I'm gonna get started on the upstairs double bed bedroom, I guess. This is one of the biggest bedrooms in the house, but I feel like it's still not the master because the master is on the bottom level and we'll get to that later. But yeah, I just wanted to add a lot of detail to this room and yeah. Okay, so keeping in mind that the upstairs bathroom is for more than one person, I'm going to actually only have one sink. 
but I'm gonna make sure to include some extra storage in the form of shelving and I'm also going to have a bathtub instead of a shower because um, there's more people sharing it I guess I don't really know but yeah um, yeah All right, now we can start working on the upstairs hallway and I'm going to do my custom railing again um, just to like make sure it's incorporated into the whole house, but also because a regular railing would not fit properly. So yeah, and I'm just going to put in the structural like things and then the basic shapes, uh, the like transparent cubes, right? Um, and yeah, so this allows me to have a completely custom shape to my fence, which is great because it wouldn't fit otherwise. And then since this house does not have an office, I wanted to make sure to have like a family computer space, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with this space. And that's pretty much it. I'm not actually gonna put in a computer because it's way too expensive. And this house is already like really expensive. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, we're almost done, I promise. And now we're gonna get started on the master bedroom. Obviously, this has to be the biggest, the fanciest bedroom in the house. And I also wanted it to be like, along with being like really luxurious, I also wanted it to be really fancy 
and just kind of feel lived in if you know what I mean so I'm gonna add lots of decorations lots of paintings and I'm also going to put in like um, a dresser and a little sitting area and um, the closet is going to be walk-in and the bathroom is gonna be like really big so yeah that's pretty much it but um yeah Okay, bathroom time. So I'm basically just gonna be copying things from other bathrooms. Um, so yeah, because I kind of got lazy at this point. I was like, okay, I'm ready to be done with this build. But yeah, I am going to add a special shelf in there that was copied from the living room and not another bathroom though. So yeah, I guess it is a little special. All right, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Alright, so from a decorating standpoint, I will admit I did get lazy in the garage, so sorry but also not sorry because um, I'm helping your wallet right now in Bloxburg Cash. And now I'm just gonna start on the laundry room and I wanted to have this area be like hanging um, clothes, I guess. So I'm just gonna have them like on top of a basic shape and just kinda do that. And then I'm also going to stick a shelf there and resize it so it makes it look like the rocks are sitting on the shelf, but I also kinda want them to be hanging. I don't really know, but it works. It looks good, so yeah.
Okay, so finally we're working on the downstairs hallway and I wanted to do carpet for the floors to make it feel like a basement, like it was underground. I don't really know. Um, so yeah, there like pretty much aren't any windows, but I just wanted to do a sitting area. Um, I mean, I feel like this might be a place where you would like watch TV or play video games. I don't really know, but there's not a TV, so that's kind of fun. Um, maybe you would play board games. We'll go with that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about- I won't say it, I promise, I won't say it. But I'm also gonna add some mirrors and yeah, just some little decorations to make it feel lived in, I guess. Alright, so I do have a confession to make, and that is that I originally forgot the workout room existed, and I was gonna film the tour, and then I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot to do one space. So I'm just gonna add all the different training equipment. Hopefully we'll get some more in the future, but I'm not really concerned about it right now because I think that Coeptus and Froggy Hops have a lot on their plate. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but I'm just gonna add like, a couple decorations, but not too fancy because it's supposed to be like a place to move around, I guess. And now it's time for the tour, so enjoy, and I hope you guys love this house as much as I do because I'm honestly so proud of it.
Y'all, I had to film this outro like eight times because I said that was pretty much it like so many times just out of habit. I promise I will stop, but I hope that you guys enjoyed because I had so much fun making this house. If you're into it, uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all the things. It would really help me out. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.